The foundation of the Nevada program was built by a Hall of Fame coach. This Wolfpack hoping for a Hall of Fame worthy performance to score a big victory in Reno today. It ought to be a great one tonight. Time for college football on ESPN. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will have the call. Reno, Nevada and Mackey Stadium, the site for what should be an incredible college football matchup. The stadium is alive already as we're set for more NCAA Football 13. We welcome you. Nice to have you along with us, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews. Tonight's matchups presented by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. We'll be seeing the USC Trojans and the Nevada Wolfpack. The USC Trojans Perry is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He's to the 10. Gets out to about the 21. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's taken down at the 16. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. From their own 16-yard line, second down. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's to the 40. At the 40. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line. You know, the receiver does a really nice job here in not tipping his hand and not showing that it's going to be a screen. He kind of gave a look as if he's going to go downfield and then came back to the inside, timing it up perfectly with the quarterback. And the quarterback also, he looked to play off and then came back, really caught the defense off guard, and the result's a big play. From the 25-yard line, first down. Here we go. Hey. He's got it out to his tight end. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. Here go. Hey. Here's the Touchdown. tailback. Touchdown! He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. He makes the PAT, a four-play, 79-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boy, this offense is explosive. It seems like every single time they have the football, a couple plays later, they're in the end zone. So the score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's a long, high kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Positive yardage. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. 
It's second and six. Ball on their own 29. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And this stadium is getting loud. That's a great tackle at the 27. Great Massive play by the defense. Ooh, that time they came with a blitz, and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with a sack. Mosby is the punter. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Nevada up seven points. Looking for the corner. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That'll bring up 32. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Nevada. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. the stop at about the 39 yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First and ten. Ball on their own 39. Gives it up the gut. Knackled after a decent pickup. Falk gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 43. What? Crosses left, intercepted. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From the 48-yard line, first down. Nicholson steps back to pass, and he dives forward. That scramble gets them seven yards. USC just took their first time out. 
They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Got to be hard for the offense to even hear the play call. Quick throw. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Riggs on the tackle at the 29-yard line. First down. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Rifles at right. Off his hands, incomplete. Moore was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 29. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 20. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. That'll make it third and one. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Up the middle for a nice game. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their There's third down. That's the, the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. There was some movement on the line. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. First and 15 now after the penalty. They try the option, left side. Pitches back. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Harris picks up five with the carry. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. So a seven play, 46 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, I know we live in an era of the spread, and people expect offenses to, to spread you out and throw the football all day. But I still believe that the, the ability to move the football has a lot to do with your balance. And right now what we're seeing from this offense is balance. They're running, they're passing the football, and it's really keeping the defense on its heels. We're even at seven in this one. They'll start this drive at the 21. Hey. 
He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 45. That makes it first and 10. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. First and 10, ball on the 44. Trying to confuse the defense here with the audible. Scrambling around. Pressure coming. He goes out of bounds at the 41. Vic gets three yards on that scramble. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. He gets it up, and this is no good. He didn't have the leg for it. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. About to kick off to start the second half in a tight defensive battle. We're about to see if both defenses can bring that same intensity that we saw in the first two quarters. Aaron Andrews has a report now from the sideline. Thanks, Brad. So far, this game has been stressful for each offensive coordinator. Both told me during halftime that they feel just a couple of scores might be enough to win this one, but it won't come easy if the first half is any indication. Back up to you, Brad. They'll set up shop at the 25. Ready. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. About the 35. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 35 yard line. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it 39. From their own 38-yard line, it's third down. The crowd at a fever pitch right now. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Moss is the deep man awaiting the return. Moss fields it at the 24. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. He has some room. Makes it to the 41. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense.
from the 41 yard line first down they are going to pitch it gets a block on the corner he's tackled around the 31 yard line the defense was a little bit slow in reacting to the pitch out and he had the time and space to break open for a good game From the 31 yard line. It's first down. They give to the tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. From the 25 yard line. Second down. Tackles him hard at the 28. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. He makes it to the 28-yard line. That misdirection play gets maybe a yard at the most. Fourth down. So they're going to go for it here. here we go. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. As we've seen before, they go with a hurry up offense. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. So with one quarter remaining, we're even at seven in this one. That makes it second and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. Just under three to go in regulation. Feeds it to the back. Touchdown, Nevada! This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. A nice seven play, 42 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. Ham has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Well, right now, they're looking at a touchdown, obviously. A field goal does them no good, so it's four down territory. You obviously have got to do a good job of moving the ball, getting out of bounds, using the timeouts, and just being smart on how efficient they need to be as an offense. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense, and in this case, he did. Nice job. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. At the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown! Huge play. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. So the offense is going to go for two. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's going to try and scramble. Quick throw. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Nevada 22, USC 7.
They'll take over at the 10. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. First down. the 49 yard line this guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible you don't see it from every receiver but this guy's got it and he is drilled at the 40 yard line nice pickup as they connect on the pass play but they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game and he's level at the 48 yard line Boy, big time call by the defensive coordinator, bringing the blitz from the corner. It's one thing to bring a linebacker or a safety, but when you bring the corner, you're really taking a chance because if the quarterback recognizes that, it's kind of an easy pass. That time, the quarterback didn't see him and allowed the corner to get home and make the sack. That's a great tackle at the 47. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. we will be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So it's fourth down. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. USC will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. We have less than a minute to go. Here we go. He drops back. He chucks it downfield. And that just might do it. Intercepted. Big time interception, and this game's over. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Hand off to the left. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 41. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Here's the halfback. They'll knock him down for a loss. The Trojans call a timeout. That's their second of the half. We've got second and long. Ball on the 34. Buffalo. They're calling an audible. Now he tries to buy some time. And he can't get away from the pressure. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Under a minute left. He wants it all, going long. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. That's good for a game of 39 yards. First down. And 
And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Got him in the screenplay. Knocked out of bounds around the 37-yard line. About five yards on the screen. He's at the 20. The senior makes the catch. To the 10. And that connection through the air should be the nail in the coffin. He makes the PAT. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. They'll go to work at the 29 yard line. He's going to air it long. And he hauls it in. Down the sideline. The 10. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. And he's in for two. Taken down at the 40. Covers the onside kick. They'll get the ball here at the 40-yard line. Scatter, scatter, scatter. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. Nevada, 29. USC, 15. The Trojans, 15. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? They had to play a complete game today if they wanted to remain competitive in the ballgame. So to win by this wide a margin tells you something about the kind of effort they exhibited. Nevada didn't care at all who was supposed to win or by what. They were the better team, plain and simple.